Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and welcome to another Planet Zoo screenshot reveal where we are talking about these gorgeous primates, the Siamangs. These guys were revealed to us on the launch day when we first saw that we were getting the conservation pack. And by the way, it does come out in just a few days on June 21st. So if you're interested at all in Planet Zoo or learning more about this conservation pack, do hit the subscribe button and the like button, all those you YouTube things really help me out, but we'll be covering this pack pretty heavily for the next few weeks as it comes out. But we got this picture with these three Siamangs in the foreground and two in the background, swinging on this brand new form of enrichment for them, these poles that you can see that they are climbing all over right now. Now, if we go to today's uh, picture that we got, we get a much better view of the monkeys swinging from this uh, brand new form of enrichment. I think this is a gorgeous shot. I say that all the time, but I think this is a gorgeous shot. Before we get to talking about the animal, looking at the background, the foliage, I really don't see too much that's new. This is a very tropical looking habitat, which fits them very well but I see a lot of the foliage that I'm already familiar with. This tree on the left potentially may be new, but it also looks a lot just like, I think it's called the mangrove tree. Um, it looks a lot like that to me and I can't quite tell if it's a brand new tree or not. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below. But other than that, everything else I kind of fully uh, recognize and uh, it is not new. And I'm, I'm now that I'm looking at it closely, Closer, I'm pretty sure that tree is not new either. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about these guys. Just some information about the animals in uh, in the real world outside of Planet Zoo. So you guys get a feel for what they're like. So physical description, males, females, and infants have long shaggy black coats with pale hairs around the mouth and chin. Siamangs have a grayish or pinkish throat sac, which they inflate during vocalization. The throat sac can become as large as a grapefruit when they're vocalizing. Their arms are longer than the legs of the white-cheeked gibbon and their hands and feet are broader. The arm length may reach two and a half times the length of their body. The primates have slight webbing between their second and third toes and both sexes have long canine teeth, opposable thumbs, and a great toe that is deeply separated from the other toes. Like other primates, Siamangs have a highly developed brain. Talking a little bit about their natural habitat, they live in the mountains of the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra in rainforests and monsoon forests. So them having a very tropical environment in this habitat that you're looking at right now makes complete sense, obviously, because that's where they're going to be found. They seem to travel about half as much daily, which may be because they consume a greater percentage of more common food, leaves. So they're not gonna be a super migratory animal is what it sounds like. They're going to kind of stay put in their very small ranges. It says here only about 60 acres or so are what these big uh, groups kind of claim as their territory. So they're not really going to move that far. Talking about communication, so vocalization is a major social investment. Males and females call together, even during the female great call. When vocalizing, the siamang can produce two different kinds of notes using its throat sac, a deep boom and a loud wow noise. <laughs> the deep boom sound carries farther in the forest than the high pitched wow sound. Siamang also make a bark-like vocalization. The Set calls are repeated one after another. They start off slowly and increase in speed. Calls are often accompanied by behavioral acrobatics. So this is going to be really important. Hopefully we will be able to see this uh, in game very, very soon. Uh, the update that is coming with the pack did say they were announcing, and I forget what they called it. Uh, maybe it's just called group calls or group vocalization. Um, and the Siamangs are one of the animals that are going to display this behavior. Behavior. So I cannot wait to see that in game and see what it sounds like and see what their behavior looks like.
looks like with that. But it sounds like it's a really important part about these guys in the wild. So I'm really glad that Frontier is introducing it into the game. So let's talk a little bit about their social structure. Like the white cheeked gibbon, Siamangs live in flexible social groups, typically comprised of an adult pair with offspring. Male Siamangs exhibit more infant care for their offspring than do other gibbon species, taking over the majority of infant carrying during the infant's second year of life. Siamangs are notable for having more coordination and contact during daily activities. The family usually forages for food as a unit. Siamangs are fiercely territorial and defend their territory with daily singing rituals. Boundary disputes, which are very rare, involve high-speed chases through trees, slapping and biting as they go. Siamangs follow a daily pattern or routine. They wake at sunrise and perform their morning concert before setting out in search of food. It usually takes a Siamang about five hours to eat its fill. My goodness, eating for five hours of the day? That sounds kind of like me on a day off. <laughs> I can relate to these guys. After eight to 10 hours of activity, they identify a place to rest or sleep. Like most primates, one of the most important social activities of a Siamang is grooming. Adults groom on average 15 minutes per day. Grooming is, dis is a display of dominance. The more dominant animals receive more grooming than they give. An adult male grooms the females and sub-adult males. In breeding season, adult males will focus more on the females. So that is a little bit about the Siamangs. As always, if you guys have more facts, things I missed, please leave those down in the comments below. I absolutely love hearing from you guys and learning from you guys. And uh, if you learned something, go ahead and leave your favorite emoji down there. I don't care what it is, whatever your favorite emoji is, just leave that in the comment and that will tell me that uh, you learned a little something from this video. But with that, I'm going to leave you. This is the last screenshot reveal because I believe we've seen every other animal now, which is very, very exciting. And we get the pack in just a couple days. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. The YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, all of that helps me out. And uh, we'll be covering this going forward. So without anything else from me, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.